Hi, I'm Lee Robinson from Cupid Simple Archery. In this video, I wanted to illustrate stability. Now, there are basically two types of stability. You may notice I'm holding one of our Little Hunter series bows. This is a very lightweight bow. The lighter the pull weight of a bow, the more you're going to see instability of the bow. The stiffer and heavier the pull weight, the more stable the bow is, but of course the harder it is to handle. Now, vertical stability, I grabbed a lightweight bow because I can exaggerate the issues. Now, if you have a recurve, um, I'm not going to mention any companies, it's not important. You can go find your own uh, recurves and do your own tests with those bows and do these same tests and see what I'm talking about. Beam strength is a bow's strength this away. It's resistance to do that. Torsional stability is its resistance to twist. Now I can do this with a lighter weight bow more easily than I can a heavy bow. But this bow has a high degree of beam strength for its length. If you had a, this bow is 24 pounds at 24 inches. This is a lightweight bow. If you did this with most 24 pound bows, they're going to be flopping all over the place. Here's another lightweight bow, but of course heavier than the first one. This bow is our Hunter series. This is a 38 pound bow at 28 inches of draw, a 56 inch bow, and it's still a high degree of beam strength. This helps, also helps keep the bow quiet, so when you shoot, you don't get a wow. It prevents the lens from resonating back and forth. that as I do this you can see a little change in the tiller of the bow but not a lot you do that again with most bows you will see that bow will really get close on this side and this side will droop out real far now finally this is my most stable design this is the protege series this bow you can really do this pretty hard and it stays fairly stiff. This bow is only 44 pounds. This bow here is 58 pounds and it, whether it's strong or unstrung, it's very stiff and rigid. Now, when I string it, you will see again a very rigid bow. Now some people might say, well why does that matter? You're not stabbing anything. Well you're right, you're not. But if I high wrist it or low wrist it, you can see that I will change the tiller of the bow. Well the stiffer this bow is, the more resistant the bow is to those changes in my form. Now I'm not an Olympic class archer. My form is not perfect. It may be pretty good. It may not be so good depending on who you are watching me, but I think it's pretty good. But still, there's there's some some things that I haven't perfected, and because of that, I want this bow to minimize my flaws and help me perform my best. So I want to maintain a high degree of beam strength or vertical stability. So when I shoot and release that string, that knocking point's not going up and down. There have been high-speed photography with Olympic-class archers who have near perfect form and their knocking points going all over the place. As form becomes worse, the more spasmic like that knocking point is going to be. It's going to go into convulsions. And you will see that in a high speed photography, we want to minimize this knocking point because we want everything to be in line towards the target. And so to do that, I need that beam strength. And also, I need that torsional strength. I, I maintain a high degree of, it's very difficult to torque any of these bows. And being aware of vertical stability and torsional stability 
not only keeps the boat quiet, not only does it improve the performance and accuracy of the archer, not only does it minimize the uh, visibility of any errors that we have in form and help us perform at our best, but it also makes the bows last longer because the bows are resistant to twist. And if you excessively twist a bow, it's more likely to explode or delaminate on you. And I want my bows to last as long as possible. Hopefully you can pass this bow on down to your kids should you choose to buy one. If you have any questions, feel free to contact me at keepitsimplearchery.com, keepitsimplearchery at gmail.com, or give me a call. Thank you for watching.